Hey, down dark again. Back to continue my explanation of fossil battles. This episode, I'm going to go back to what I said I was going to do a long time ago. What I said was going to be the second video. Explanation of team skills. Now, the reason I didn't actually uh, make a video for team skills the second time when I actually planned to. Nobody really seemed that interested in it. They were more uh, more concerned with the boss battles. So I focused more on that. Also, I don't really particularly like team skills. I mean, they can be useful. But I prefer it's different teams. Now the idea of team of team skills is that if well-matched Vivasaurs are teamed up, they can use powerful attacks that damage all of the enemy Vivasaurs. Very useful. But how do you determine which Vivasaurs are compatible? Much like Pokemon breeding, it can be complicated, but there are a few obvious choices. Three Vivasaurs of the same type are usually compatible as are three Vivasaurs with similar body shape and diet. Some teams are a bit less predictable. The three Japanese Vivasaurs, Mihu, F-Raptor, and Futabi, are compatible only with each other. They certainly are an intimidating team. Lamio and Maya have team healing skills rather than attacks, and some dinos, like Karno, don't have any team skills at all. By combining Vivasaurs that are both compatible and have strong support effects, you can build up a truly deadly team. Here's an example. In the attack zone, T-Rex. In the support zones, Guan and Smilo. Total effect, attack up 80%. Defense and evasion up 90%. Very powerful team attack. Downside? Two that come to mind. A team consisting of only one element can be dangerous. Variety gives more flexibility. Also, strong support effects usually mean poor defense, so they can easily be wiped out. Let's re-examine the Japanese team. I would probably recommend F-Raptor out front to take advantage of Futabi's great special effects and long range class. Mihu has decent stats, but require a lot of FP. Also, one of the few dinos that has counter without confused skills. But because of its amazing support effects, I recommend keeping it in the support zone. That and its high FP attacks. Team skills can be good if you find a dependable team. Personally, I don't search out compatibility. If they match, they match. You get a little extra skill. Not essential. You will need to be careful of enemy teams though, especially the legendary dream team as it's called. Dino, Raptin, and Duna. Not a team you want to be facing. Now when you fight Dino the third time, when he has Dino, Raptin, and Duna, I've never actually seen him use team skills but he does have them available, so you want to watch out for that. Uh, that's really all I have to say about team skills. If you have any questions or would like suggestions of teams that I've randomly found, leave a comment. Uh, if you find this helpful, spread the word. I want to help as many people as possible. Thanks for watching.